Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. So today's gonna be a more casual, unscripted sort of video going over the Necromancer's Gift Kickstarter page. Now, if you don't like unscripted content, as per the usual, you can definitely check out Monster Tamer News, which came out yesterday. Um, basically, Necromancer's Gift, if you don't know, is a monster taming roguelite with uh, turn-based battles, uh, a choice-driven sort of story structure, similar to a game like Slay the Spire. And I did just finish interviewing Leo, the developer, about the game, and it was a great interview. That podcast is gonna go up on Friday, so definitely stay tuned for that. Anyway, let's jump right into the uh, game and let's showcase the trailer first. So one thing I've always said about this game is the monster designs are absolutely phenomenal. They all give you that sort of very um, almost alien-like like, like uh, presence with still while still looking familiar. It's it, it, they're very um, they're a very unique design that that sort of sticks with you. I, I don't think I've seen a single monster in this game that I don't like. Uh, this snake thing is amazing, by the way. But uh, yeah, I don't think I've, I've seen a single monster design that I don't at least like. So definitely this game has some of the best monster designs I've seen in a monster taming game. That sort of, so, uh, that sort of showcased the capture mechanic. There's these capture boxes uh, in which you can uh, use to capture various monsters. There's different levels just like there are with Pokeballs. So you can expect something like that as well. This is showcasing the uh, the progression uh, on each floor. So there's five different floors in which you can progress through. And um, basically you're given choices and they each lead upon these different branching paths. They all culminate into the floor leader no matter which path you take. And you have to sort of decide which path you're gonna take based on what's upcoming and sort of um, keep your resources, your health, uh, y everything sort of managed in such a way that you'll be able to take on the leader. That was uh, one of the legendaries, this horse thing. I really like its design, by the way. Yeah, these are legendaries. There you have it, a very basic trailer, yet very nice one. I, 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 again, I'm I'm really excited for this game. I, I can't stress that enough. But anyways, let's talk about uh, exactly what the game entails, and then I'll give you guys my sort of thoughts. So uh, let's begin. Like many of you, I grew up playing Pokemon, and the memories I made thanks to that franchise will always have a special place in my heart. However, I am an adult now, and I feel I've outgrown it. Necromancer's Gift is the tiramisu of Monster Tamers, focused on Folk, sorry, focused and concise and a perfect complement to other games with bigger budgets and scope that would be your main course. I hope that didn't make you too hungry. Key features, 100 animated creatures in gorgeous pixel art, a dark setting with a very optimistic story, cross-platform play and saves across Steam and iOS, permadeath and hard battles by default in campaign mode with a lot of customization options to make sure you play the game you want to play. Now, this is actually a trend, and I had mentioned this when I did my Nexomon Extinction custom mode review. I said that this custom mode will sort of set the bar for monster taming games. And it's kind of funny because now we see that Coromon has a custom mode. Necromancer's Gift is going to have custom options. And I think this is something that we're going to see more and more as the monster taming genre develops is that people are going to try to give more customized uh, playthroughs for each person in order to attract a wider audience. And that's definitely great. That, that's one of the things that comes with competition is that it pushes everyone to sort of uh, take that extra step. And now we can see that once that, that sort of custom mode uh, step was taken, 
everyone else is uh, sort of following suit and it's just creating better games overall. Uh, online turn-based PvP, which is going to be, uh, which uh, actually Leo said that there's going to be multiple modes in which you can battle, so that's very interesting. Uh, optional community-based trials and enhancements to the offline game, so very cool. Gameplay, turn-based combat, creatures level up, gain moves, and evolve. Creatures can hold up to two items, many of them complement one another. Map navigation. To make sure the game fits its budget, there is no overworld, and you instead progress through rooms and floors using a very straightforward map. Each floor ends with a battle of a floor leader or with the necromancer. So this is the concept art for the five floor leaders within the game. Uh, besides battles with creatures, there are other trainer battles, shops, and places to rest along event rooms that will set uh, you that will let you choose amongst different meaningful choices that modify your party or parts of your run. A part of the funds from this Kickstarter will uh, go towards making these sections look better. Roguelite elements. As a monster taming game, you will be able to pick the rates that creatures appear across different runs and gather all the information needed about each creature. In time, you gain the ability to guarantee a certain creature is in its uh, Inti or Quilla from... Oh, those are the shiny forms. Uh, there's two, by the way, in this game. For all future runs. Team builder and arena to battle against bots and players. Uh, so so the, I, I believe this is going to be the alpha. Uh, the, like this is what they're going to have going on for the alpha as well so that's definitely uh, noteworthy to say the least uh, passive multiplayer join the discord and uh, join the discord and find a use for your creatures after they die chain shiny encounter rate and items spawned in a shop uh, you can play the game's campaign mode and battle against bots offline play the prototype now so i haven't played this on online because uh, leo has asked that we keep the prototype sort of uh, just private, not necessarily under an NDA, but not to post videos about it just yet, as that's sort of what the alpha is going to be. But you can play a prototype version of the game, and once the alpha does come out in August, I'll be posting the crap out of it. Uh, platform, Steam, uh, Windows, Mac, uh, you also got mobile, so iOS and Android. I want to focus on the Steam release of the game for this Kickstarter. I'm explicitly not promising to port consoles even as a stretch goal. However, I am interested in porting the game afterwards over to Switch and other consoles like PS5 and Xbox. This makes sure I can keep my promises and retain the goodwill of all my backers. Now, that's definitely fair. You don't want to promise something that you haven't been able to confirm just yet and the fact that he's interested is definitely uh something that is of note I, i'm guessing that if that interest is there and if the game does sell well enough the game will end up on consoles as well translations the game will be in french and spanish uh community-based translations and other languages are also planned if all goes well that'll include portuguese and german so i'm assuming for german uh that might Marlin might uh, help out with that, and for Portuguese it might be Bislava. I'm I'm a little psychic, but I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. But that's my guess. Story. One of the main reasons that uh, one of the main reasons that motivate me to keep working on this game is that I want to tell a story. It's a very concise and focused story that's not uh, conventional in monster taming games, but I need to tell it. The story centers around interactions between a necromancer that hates humans and your dog that you're actively trying to rescue. You can expect a harsh environment, but through perseverance, I genuinely hope you get to see the meaning behind the title of this game, The Necromancer's Gift. Now we got some music. I'm not gonna showcase it all, but I will showcase, I believe it's, yeah, we'll do the, uh... actually, you know what, screw it. We'll showcase it all. So that's a title screen music. This is the main battle theme. And then you have the, uh, this is the alternate battle theme, which I'm hoping you can toggle on and off. This is my favorite one, by the way.
I'm guessing that second one is like a um, maybe a boss battle theme. Uh, the game will feature 100 creatures. Here's a preview of the first 42. You can also see them in the bestiary. So as you can see, very solid designs. Uh, all creatures will feature an int an inti form, similar to shinies and Pokemon. You can see a, you can see a couple of them here. Some creatures will have a Quilla form, a second shiny form, as you can see here. And I'm very curious as to uh, what the difference between Inti and Quilla is. Community. The community has naturally gravitated towards the game. is awesome. That's all. We had a naming contest to... Uh, a na naming contests and polls to pick the names of various creatures. On top of that, I built a bot that gives you an online team that you can grow by being active on Discord. That's cool. Uh, to memorize the names of all creatures, there is a daily trivia i often ask for feedback for the game and listen alternatively to all suggestions but don't get me wrong i'm also very straightforward and when a suggestion is outside of the scope of my game or my own abilities i try to communicate with the players as soon as i can now that you know all that i hope you guys see that this game exists thanks to its community and i and just like i've done for the past couple months until release the community will be an active part of the game's development inspiration the main inspiration behind this game is obviously Pokemon. As for na ma navigation, the game borrows heavily from Slay the Spire to keep navigation concise and budget friendly. Finally, a little more of uh, broadly a small amount of elements from Final Fantasy tw 12 and Bravely Default can be found in the AI direction of the combat of the game. Important note that there is no difference between the fire, water, okay so this is just for the tiers, so for the backer tiers. Um, they're, they're, you're going to see different affinity tiers. They're all the same. They're, they just have a little, it's just a little um, competition to see which affinity wins. Uh, the NFT rewards are truly unique and yours to collect, trade or keep. The digital art book will include sketches and unused art. I'm sure you'll like it. Stretch goals. Right now there's only one, but there are more planned. So there's the meme edition of the game, which I think is hilarious. Uh, basically, it's going to be a version of the game that has just jokes and memes from the community. Uh, I'm assuming we'll see uh, some some forehead action, some Palmola Henderson, and some stuff like that. Uh, and then you have the team, uh, stuff like that. The timeline, so August 2021 is the alpha. December is early access on Steam, which I'm definitely looking forward to. And December of the following year is full release. And just for risks and challenges, uh, basically... Um, it's his first game. Uh, he's kept the scope minimal to avoid uh, any major risks and a good chunk of the systems are already implemented. Now, Leo has put a lot of his own money into the game, hence the low Kickstarter goal of $5,000. This isn't a game, this isn't uh, like a case where someone's just coming up and asking for your money. Leo has actively been putting his own money that he's earned himself through um, into the game. And now this is to get sort of the rest of the support. Obviously, the game's done really well. It's already almost at 5,000. It just started, like, literally 14 hours ago. So it's going to get backed. I'm curious to see how far it's going to go. I'd love to see this game just absolutely crush every stretch goal he had planned. And, you know, the game ends up being something insane. But we'll, we'll definitely have to wait and see on that. Um, as for the different rewards you can get, um, I personally went with the trainer. Uh, let's you pick a name for a trainer, their look and influence with what creatures they would have on their team. Uh, and then you get like a special mention in the thing. You get five digital copies of the game, which is insane. Uh, I'm going to give them away to you guys. So uh, definitely join our Discord for when that happens. I'll, I'll, I'll give some, uh, I'll, I'll give four of them away. Uh, we'll, we'll do like a giveaway bot thing. I, I always do stuff like that. So uh, uh, name an NPC trainer. It's, yeah, so we said that, that, that that's going to be pretty cool. Now the thing is, He's already confirmed that I'm going to be in the game, so I, I, I'm going to have to come up with something interesting for the NPC character. Uh, maybe we'll name him Joshine after my ROM hack. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, you have the dollar tier, which is the thing. Early bird, early bird novice, so 10 bucks you get the game. Uh, and a couple other things. Name the credit, digital wallpaper, or follow Discord roll. Uh, then the regular novice. Then you got 24, this is win novice. You get to show your colors. Um, what does it give you follower discord role digital wallpaper uh alpha access digital game so uh, yeah this gives you the alpha access fire wind all the same water uh trainer name and candle pick a name for a trainer and receive a special mention so you, this is just picking a name you get three digital steam copies uh wind yeah so then you got wind ancient show your colors your pledge counts towards 
the total wind pledge we already mentioned that be mentioned by name by the necromancer sometimes too that's kind of cool so so the necromancer will mention you i, I might I, I might i almost kind of want to upgrade to that <laughs> um so you got the fire version the water version uh 250 you got a uh, floor leader statue pick a name for a trainer and accessory or two like hats watches to influence their look and feel and influence what creatures they have on their team receive a special mention in the game's credits too and copies of the game to share with families and friends so this one comes with seven uh creature statue create a creature that will appear in the game receive a permanent unique shiny nft that is exclusively offered during this kickstarter follow discord role uh, 10 copies of the game a permanent unique shiny uh created creature all that stuff so and then the, these are the, the the few things are gone already so anyway um yeah that's pretty much what we got going on with the necromancer's gift um kickstarter i i did like i said to uh interview leo which is going to come out on friday and uh if you guys are watching this tomorrow is my birthday stream uh my birthday was on the 5th but we're going to be streaming on the 11th for that it's going to be a six hour ish stream of just us playing different monster taming games so definitely come join it's gonna start around 10 a.m est so i'm definitely looking forward to that and uh again thank you guys so much for everything you do thanks so much for watching my videos and i'll see you guys in the next one peace